do think I got it on my uh, vagina because of the porn industry, because of how little it's talked about. Um, sure. You know, because we don't test for it, but people don't tell you that, you know, and they don't say, hey, I have herpes. I don't have an active outbreak. We're shooting this scene. She grabbed my thing, stuck that Q-tip in me, twisted it, turned it out. I said, oh, no. Nah. I ain't doing this no more. I fell to the ground after she did that. It's Mac the Guru. Today we reacting to two videos that made me stop watching porn. I will never again watch porn. And I ain't nobody that just went crazy with it, you know, every day. No, 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 no. I ain't nobody like that. But seeing, one, what it does to me, my mind, my body, my spirit, my soul. You know, I think they're similar things. But also what it does to the people in the industry. So it really don't help on no account. No way. It's degenerate. We know that. It's degenerate behavior. You know, and after seeing these two videos, I really wish they banned it all together. Now, these is a bunch of porn stars. All right? And they talking about it. I don't think all these girls are porn stars. But this from whatever podcast... Check out these women talking about the industry and what happened to them. For my safety, the safety of my coworkers, and for them as well, have those same standards of testing. And on top of that, I do have herpes, and that's something that I obviously want to tell someone. Now these porn stars for doing anything sexual with them, I want them to have all the. You can look them up Down, downstairs. Huh? Downstairs. Both. Yeah. He's trying to figure okay. it out. What? Um, have you told? She said both. The guy who you've been dating for four months, mm -hmm. he knows. It's yeah. crazy. But like that's the thing. I want those people to be able to know, okay. have the right. information about herpes, and be able to make an informed decision. On, okay, I on understand what that. They would like to or not? Because can, can I ask you a question? Did mm -hmm. do you think you got it on set? Well, I know for a fact that I, like I said earlier, I got cold sores, HSV one, on my lips and stuff. Um, when, from when the you were like younger, like when I was a little, yeah. I was in like kindergarten. Um, but, I. Do you think now. I got it on my uh, vagina because of the porn industry, because of how little it's talked about? Um, sure. You know, because we don't test for it, but people don't. See, that's a problem. That, you know, and they, they don't, don't say, test. hey, I have herpes. I don't have an active outbreak. We're shooting this scene. Your agents don't tell you. Directors don't tell you. And when you're young and inexperienced and you don't know the right questions to ask. Young you and inexperienced. Know. And for me personally, I thought I had just had a rip or a cut or something. And a director actually looked and was like, oh, you have a herpes outbreak. And I had no idea. The director told her. She had no idea. And the director told her, you got an outbreak. This is nuts because they don't test for it. So that means majority of the people got it because they're not testing for it. People is just, you know, still doing it. I think she still do it. So that's just nuts, dog. So they wrapping up these young girls. Remember what she said. She was innocent. She didn't know any better. She didn't know they didn't test for this, right? Because you hear about the industry and one thing a bunch of porn stars always say. Yo, we more cleaner than the general public because we get tested more. Well, y'all don't get tested for everything. Y'all just get HIV tests. That's it. People can have all type of stuff and they can be giving y'all. When I go get tested, I go get tested for everything. And I actually got some pity for her because this could be anybody that didn't have any type of risky behavior. I know I have. I remember, you know, times in my life where after I slept with a chick, I went and got tested like, soon as I can, I'll be Googling, hey, how many days should you get tested after you slept with a new person? You know, then I go get tested. It was like that when I was younger, doing stuff, being risky before I had my son. And then when I got older in the military, it was the same thing. You know, I've been risky. And when I was younger, what stopped me from having that risky behavior both times was the doctor. You know, so it's good that you go get tested because that stuff could really stop you. They got all them uh, pamphlets and stuff. But when I was younger, I went and said, yo, this was, I'm young. I go right up there. I'm from St. Louis. I go right up there. I'm Jenny Station. All right, they got a clinic up there. I go up there, try to get tested. And usually when I go get tested, I wouldn't like put anything extra on the paper, like any comments. But this time I thought, Man, I think I really do got something. My mind was playing tricks on me. So I put it on the paper. When I did that, I swear for God, 
It was a whole different experience. Usually I pee in a cup. They took me in another room. They get, drew my blood for the HIV and, and herpes and stuff like that. But then they took me in another room. When they took me in the other room, instead of having me pee in a cup, this old lady came. She grabbed my piece. And I'm like, what's going on? She's like, hold on, just stand still. It's going to be real quick. Don't worry about it. I'm going to take this Q-tip. I'm going to get a little quick swab. Don't worry about it. It ain't even going to hurt. I said, nah, this this about to hurt. So I kind of jumped a little bit. She said, don't worry. She calmed me down, talked to me real smooth. But older lady. I'm like, okay. She said, just close your eyes. I closed my eyes. Dude, she grabbed my thing, stuck that Q-tip in me, twisted it, turned it out. I said, oh, nah. I ain't doing this no more. I fell to the ground after she did that. One of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life was that, that feeling. Like, I don't know, oh God, right? So I go through that and to find out I don't even got nothing. It's my mind playing tricks on me. But this porn industry, man, is just horrible, dog. Let's see some more of it. This stuff is crazy. Can you still be in the industry if you have like so, yes, so they don't test, so the reason why they don't Wait, test- Wait, it's not even that, like, even if you don't test, but like you said, a director saw, and like, so it's not just you were not disclosing. Right. They know. Do you disclose to the people you shoot with that- mm, It's not really talked about, but I- You don't disclose? You don't tell them? Mm, it's like, see, I know. It's like a really weird- Okay, thing. yeah, all of them ain't in the porn. Criminal. I don't think yeah. that's criminal. It's something- It, it, it is literally criminal. It's criminal. Yes, it's, it's criminal. criminal. Like, I think it's about two or three of them in the porn industry. People are going to True. have so, STDs. Oh, I get it. So you're saying that they're taking that, like, they already know when they get into it. So but that's no, kind no, of- I, It's I, not I, even like if, people have a responsibility to make people aware when they have an active outbreak. Like, I had a scene with a performer and they, they canceled the same day because they had an active outbreak. And, like, no harm, no foul. And I worked with and them again. And that happens all the time. She was about to say she worked with them later. Yo, this stuff is wow, dog. That means that people knowingly have it, but then people that don't know if they got it know the people that got it and they still working together. This stuff is nuts, man. Why not they just, because I'm sure enough of them got it by now. <laughs> You're Like, I'm sure it didn't been spread around. This girl said she got it on the thing, right? The rest of these porn stars might have, might not even know. But since they all got it, why don't they just separate it? Separate the people with the diseases, the people without it. And then how the people with stuff only work with each other and how the people without stuff work with each other instead of getting these little young impressionable girls and boys that's 19 20 because it's always some young people they don't last long in the porn industry that the, the lifespan is probably less than you know a year for most people that get in it there's only a few of them that do three to five years it's even fewer that be doing seven to ten years you know so the lifespan ain't long in this stuff so it they just gotta inform people better man it's super degenerate behavior. I would really love to get this out of the uh, society as a whole, dog. This is horrible. Because these kids don't know. They get in, oh, I'm going to make a little money. And the thing is, I'm going to say this to young girls. Y'all got to understand that it's money, power, respect. Them things, you know, you want all three of those things. Not just money. That's the problem. That's what they trying to convince people. Date porn stars. Date, date strippers. They, no, you don't date none of them type of girls. You don't date whores because they are more likely to have diseases. And up here, they don't got it all, dog. They can't because of the nature of sex. That's what people don't understand. My sexual experience is different from every woman's because I don't get dominated. One person is doing the hitting. Another person is getting hit. <laughs> it's a difference. That's what people just don't seem to get. But they do subconsciously. This is why women don't really care about dudes body count. They say they care, some of them, just because men care. So you're like, oh, if you do it, because for some reason women want to do all the things that they want to do. And then they want to do all the things men want to do too. It's like, come on, we different, all right? 
That's why y'all don't care about it, though. And that's why men do. Because the sexual experience is different. We dominate women during this period of time, during having sex. That's what happens. So me dominating 50 people, it ain't going to take as much out of me than you getting dominated by 50 people. That's the difference. Clear as day. All right. But let's go to this next clip, you know, and listen to what they got to say, man. This stuff is crazy. We will test. If you have an outbreak, they will swab it. But if you don't have an active outbreak, a lot of places won't even test you. But, but you, okay, you're telling Delusion. me that Delusion. you confirmed. I don't know. Did you take a test? No. Or, but you know you have it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's pretty, like, the, the outbreak. Whatever. Straight delusion. Um, you know you have it. Molly says that she was about to do a scene with a guy who knows he has it, who had an outbreak, so he canceled the scene. I suppose that's nice of him. It's shocking to me that you would continue working in the <laughs> adult in industry. With this guy's funny. Come on. But, that's nice of him to do that. Right, so yeah. when did you... It is. You became... Uh, you got herpes how far into the industry? Your first year in? Yeah. First month? No, I think... First couple months? Yeah, I started right before COVID, though, so it was like I started in uh, January, and then COVID happened in March. Damn, she's been doing this for three years, um, four years. I found out maybe around July or August. So in the six-month period after starting adult work, you got genital herpes? Yes. Six months in, dog. Six months in. <laughs> and then she delusional because she, see... This the problem, right? Because she making excuses. She, oh, everybody don't tell. Yeah, they do. Dog, I was in the military. Every time I went and said, yo, I want to get the HIV herpes test, they tested me. Every time. Every time. Like clockwork. Yo, yeah, okay. And then it was times where they had talked to me. Hey, how you been doing things? You know, da, da, da. stop being as risky with your behavior. You know, stuff like that. But, yo, they, they test. You know, if you want to get tested, say you want to get tested. You might have to speak up and say something, you know, but they they will test you. It's not like a difficult thing to get tested for herpes or HIV, in my opinion, in my experience, you know. But let's keep going. Don't worry about the testing. You have a a 100% confirmed case of herpes. We You need not be tested. You have herpes. Right. You are shooting scenes. That's with, true. Men, women, yeah. she knows she got have, it. Like, aside from, do you not have a concern about continuing to spread this disease? Well, I would never work with an active outbreak of blister. But, That's... but aren't, but okay, you but can... before like a full blown outbreak, there's like a pre, it's like pre. It's called shedding. Yeah, you're shedding before. Mm -hmm. So you could do a scene when you're shedding. I mean, right. or afterwards. For me personally, I can tell when I'm going to get an outbreak and I just won't work but nah well it's clearly yeah, though i mean within six months of starting in the industry he on point he hit no with all the, the, women the right questions in this industry are not like even if you're not do, uh having sex during an active outbreak you are there is a very there, low chance that it is transmissible yes you got it within but, six months of working in the industry see that's the crazy thing she got it within six months and still trying to defend it. It's like, no, sweetheart. No. Now, that is the experience of people that's in it. All right? Now we about to watch a video of what it does to you as the person. This is, these two things, these two videos is why I'm stopping, bro. Because that is what's going on in the industry. Is pulling our young girls, young boys and spitting them out with diseases and a lot of trauma. You watch porn stars that get out the industry, they be crying and stuff, talking about the stuff that they did. And, you know, a lot of these girls, I ain't gonna say no names, they ain't ever came out and said they had herpes like she did. She actually came out and said it, which, having a disease, you know, I don't look at people like, oh man, they, you know, um, just like bad people or anything like that, because... Like I said, I didn't, you know, have sex with girls and been like, yo, I need to go test it right after that, right? You know, I done slipped up, took the kind of all this stuff happened when you out here messing with a lot of people, having risky behavior, you know, when I was younger. 
That's stuff that I did. You know, I thought it was okay to do. And I didn't think I would catch something. But I could have. I didn't, but I could have. You know, so I could have been just like her. So it ain't like she a bad person for that. But she need to get out that industry. And they really need to start putting some laws on that industry. Some more laws, man. Now, that's what happened to the industry, though. Let's listen to RZA about what it does to you and different things that's going on. Let's check it Absolutely. out. You know what? I was actually looking at this too because it's this overstimulation. Overstimulation. That's the term I've left yeah. out. Overstimulation. Overstimulation. Yeah. Hypersexualization um, of this, this dopamine serotonin mixture of the chemistry in the brain. When you see something that you like, you see something that makes you feel good. You keep seeing it. You keep seeing it. So you Dude's addicted. Stimulated. The problem is this generation is on a horrible diet, not only physically, yeah. but also mentally and spiritually. They're True. eating the most horrible foods that are destroying them physically. True. They're taking in the most horrible foods that destroy them mentally, and then they don't really have any food spiritually because they're not connected with anybody on the spiritual level for the most part, right? So he breaking it all the way down. So he's like, yo, we eating bad, we doing this bad, we doing on top of the fact we watching porn, and it's like a, a hit to the mind, right? So we are addicted to this thing. A lot of people in the country addicted to this stuff, man. Where they got to do it once a day, twice a day, all this stuff. Three times, four times, five times a week. If they stop one day, then they got to do it the next day. It's dudes that's addicted, like a drug to this stuff. So that's what's going on with your mind once you start watching this stuff. Let's, let's listen to more of what he got to say. The fact that they're using honey sticks and honey pot or whatever they got dealing with that. You got these 20-year-olds on Viagra, Seattle's. You have these 20 year olds and now they're using the social media influencers in our generation to push blue chew and yep. these other things. I'd be saying a lot of I'm dudes. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, our elders didn't start using that stuff until they were in their late 40s, 50s. That was traditional, hell, even 60s. Y'all are using it in your 20s. That's crazy. The erectile dysfunction that is extremely high now because the testosterone level has dropped below 50% of that which we had 30 years ago because there is a heightened amount of estrogen chemicals in the food and water supply. Over 70% of many of the foods that we consume today have a heightened amount of estrogen, synthetic estrogen from the soy in the bread, now, the soy some, in the cookies, the soy in the some top cookies, secret information. Soy in the ice cream, uh, the atrazine in the water. You have someone by the name of Tyrone B. Hayes, biochemist who has been studying amphibians and particularly frogs for over 20 years at the University of Berkeley. And he found that atrazine a chemical that was produced by Syngenta is heavily in the water supply and is also being sprayed on the crops, particularly it's in California crazy. and all across the country. What does atrazine do? It causes femininity in a male. They want to emasculate the man, man. Straight up. But before he made that point, he was talking about how all of these young dudes is out here doing uh, blue chew and Viagra, all this stuff, just to get it up in their 20s. Imagine when they get 40 and 50, all right? Now, if you think watching porn don't play a role in that, you crazy. Because watching that stuff, you getting addicted to seeing it on camera. Then once you get a real girl's body in front of you, you know, and actually being able to feel it, it feel different. You know, it just, it look different. You know, they take the, the bra off, you know what I'm saying? It, so it looked different, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, not all, <laughs> not all girls, you know, but, you know, they get a little older. I ain't a little low, you know, just like us where I, I tested. But let's listen to more of what he got to say. It's because the porn industry heavily drives it and they make it free because they want us to destroy ourselves in a way where we, where we will accept it through right. our lower desires and our pleasures. Because if you let a person freely go and have access to pornography, Okay, well then, hell, I can get that quick shot in the dome, quick shot in the arm, I'm feeling good. But what happens? I'm overstimulating this and this, so by the time I get to a real life yep. interaction, I yep. don't know how to do anything about that. And that's if, you know, he goes sexual. Boy, he's spitting real game. Because that's exactly what's happening to dudes out here. That's why they running around with ED. You know, he ain't done. Let's keep going. With this porn thing, we need to touch on in regards to your ambition as a person. Mm. Because it's a toxic... Kill your drive. Uh, bop tail they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You got the porn, smoking in the pills. Yes. The poverty. 
the depression, mm -hmm. fire, all those things consistently. Yes. People not doing anything with themselves. Yeah. That's a fact. And the video games too. Absolutely. Right? So Absolutely. it's just like... Hey man, totally stay off us playing the video porn, games, dog. Video games, smoking, and social media. I know what he mean, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, what can you... I'm just saying, that's yeah. like the average dude's day. So, like, mm -hmm. what yeah. can he do? What can you Good do question. consistently in your life where your time is constantly consumed with these things? Mm -hmm. That's draining your energy and burning out your mind. Very good question. Two things. You know how the government infiltrated our organizations that were influencing the youth? I like we have to infiltrate all of the ways Give you a solution. are being influenced. Mm -hmm. We have to infiltrate video games. Okay. We have to infiltrate all of the music in a good way, putting the positive you know, lyrics, the positive images and all that in the music. We have to infiltrate the movies. We have to infiltrate all of the areas that influence them. The one thing that we should not infiltrate is the porn industry. Get up out of that. All right, so that, that we could just not gotcha. go. But everything else we have to gotcha. infiltrate so that we can get in front of their eyes. See, I like that. He said, yo, infiltrate everything but the porn industry. But it just go to show you, man, that stuff is horrible for the people that's in the industry and us, what it's doing to our mind, our body, all of that stuff. You get addicted to that 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 hit of actually watching a computer. And it's different from back in the day. That's why I say they need to outlaw this or put it in certain places. Because then people will have to go back to what? Watching magazines or something like that. Like, see, that stuff is totally different. Because a lot of dudes wasn't going crazy with the magazines. You ain't gonna go crazy every day looking at a magazine. I don't think dudes do. Maybe they do in jail or something like that. But I don't think in the real world dudes is going out and doing that. And when you don't have that to rely on, it forces you to want to go get with a woman. It forces you to want to go interact with women and talk to them and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But when you relying on that porn, you going, oh yeah, I'm about to just, instead of going out, meeting somebody, uh, I'm just going to sit. Boom, 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 and get one off, you know, so it's just horrible. I'm done with it, completely done with it. I'm not supporting the industry from a watching this standpoint for them and myself, man. It's Mac the Guru. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the industry. What do you think it, it uh you know, does to you? If you experienced ED before, you know, um, how did you overcome it for some people? You know, hey. You know, um, but yeah, man, this stuff is crazy. It's Mac the Guru. Remember, if you're still here and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Check out the other content. Click that like button. And like always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.